What is up guys, Connor here from Geek On Your Face, and welcome back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Best Deck Series! Um, today we're going to be going over uh, a level-based deck, um, kind of like the uh, Red Eyes deck we did before that was augmented with the Armed Dragons, but this is going to be a Silent Swordsman and Silent Magician deck, so it's a, it's a silent deck, I guess you could say. Um, and there's not really much to be said, this video is going to be pretty short because level decks are pretty straightforward, um, their effects are very obvious, um, they're not the hardest to pull off. And most of the decks that involve level decks are kind of going to be, they're going to be very similar in the fact that, um, you know, the whole goal is to get the low level monster out first, protect it or make it level up quickly by the effect of level up like I'm doing here, and then you basically just go from there and, you know, uh, use their full, um, full grown effects to full advantage. And I see here, the reason why, specifically I chose to fight Yugi this time, you know, I usually fight Yugi, nothing strange here, but the reason why fighting Yugi right now works so great and it makes it stand out to their effect so much better. The Silent Swordsman level 7's effect makes it so that no spell card on the field can be activated. This is super, super awesome at countering a spell focused deck. This deck will absolutely shut down a spell focused deck. Like, there's really not much a spell focused deck can do at all besides um you know, maybe using a skill drain or something like that. But that's where the mystical space typhoons come in. You know, get rid of that skill drain that's on the field and messing with your plans. He can't do anything except play defensively because of that silent swordsman level seven, level seven on the field. And the calculator is a great, um, a great complement to this deck. As you know, the levels get high and they're easy to summon. So we'll get into that more um, in the recipe portion because you're not really going to see many other cards because this duel is over pretty quick. Um, but I want to talk to you guys, um, since this is going to be a fairly straightforward uh, video, I want to talk to you guys um, more specifically about uh, Twitch and stuff like that. I'm going to do it on a video that gets exposure because the best deck series, by far the most successful series on the channel. So if you guys have not already gone over to my Twitch, which will be popping up right here on the screen, um, I suggest that you do so because we have fun over there playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Anyway, recipe portion, Defender Knight, not much to be said. Uh, the spell counters help keep um, your Silent Magician safe in the early levels. Guardian of Order is really awesome because of the Calculator's effect, but uh, Guardian's of Order effect, if you control two or more light monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is really awesome. Uh, honest, pretty self-explanatory in a light-focused deck, which this um, deck is a light-focused deck. I think there's only one dark card. Um, Shining Angel, obviously, to help you get those silent... Um, Silent Swordsman and Silent Magicians out quickly. Silent Magician level 4, we won't really go over his effect because you're going to be using level up to um, negate it pretty much. And Silent Magician is the, um, basically it's unaffected by spell cards, um, that's its main effect. Silent Swordsman, um, he basically, what he does is he takes a uh, standby phase like Arm Dragon level 3 to level up and then um, level 5 it needs to inflict battle damage from a direct attack to level up. And then level 7 obviously negates all spell cards. The calculator you guys should know is effect by now. Really awesome when you have all those levels out on the field to become super super powerful and pretty quickly too. Book of Moon, this is a very good defensive card especially you know when you have your low level monsters out it's really useful. Level Modulation lets you refresh your deck with level monsters that you might have already used. Level up, very key in this deck. You want to use the level ups on your Silent Magician level fours, so you don't have to wait the ten or the five standby phases for your opponent to draw cards. Um, reinforcement of the army, good once again for getting your Silent Swordsman um, out. Swords of Revealing Light, always good to keep your um, monsters safe in this deck. The Graveyard of the Fourth Dimension, more adding level monsters to your deck, good refresher. United We Stand, um, help buff up your monsters um, because they don't really have a high attack cap. These cards are more for utility. Bottomless Trap Pole is also a good defense, as well as Mirror Force coming up is also a great defense. Um, that's going to be it for this uh, deck for you guys. It's pretty straightforward. This is a good, nice beginner deck, I think. So try it out if you guys want to make some changes, obviously to fit your play style. But yeah, once again, guys, check out the Twitch, check out the Twitter. Um, those things would have popped earlier up in the video. But yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. It's going to be a Red Dragon Archfiend deck, so look forward to that. And goodbye!